I can't stop for too long. But we should take a break for now. Yeah. Let's make sure we're ready to tackle what's ahead. I could take on anything. What the heck? Wait a sec. Is this all nuclear waste? Seems to be. For all that talk, I expected much more than a cave out at sea. <sighs> to think they made it sound so official. Hell, they're just stacking crap everywhere. And some of it's rusting. Disposal facility, my ass. This place is a dump. A real crock of shit. If they keep this up, the whole island, even the surrounding ocean, is screwed. <sighs> Greetings, Kasuga. Bryce! Long time no see. Unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't welcome you here. This place is holy ground meant only for chosen Haku. None but they may enter. Your presence is a stain upon the land. Yes, we can't argue with you there. Once we drag your ass to jail, we'll be sure to make amends. For now, we got work to do. A little waste disposal of our own. You hear that? For the sake of Balikana, we're taking you down! Spoken by a meddlesome outsider. Surely you recognize the arrogance in that. Oh no. I got a good idea of how you run things. You're nothing but a damn crook. You spit on people's faith like it's a sport! And it's not just money, is it? You've taken lies, too. Rice. I'm here for Takara. Had he died peacefully, who knows? Maybe then I might have let it go. But no! That's not what happened! Not even close! You used his faith for all it was worth and just a tossed his life away. He had a family, a wife, a kid, and everything. Bastard, you used him. Ah, so one of your friends was a Haku, was he? Well, well. Yes, that is unfortunate. This Takata of yours, it's a shame he lacked the faith needed to make a difference. What? To a Haku, giving your life for Palakana is the highest of honors. But it would seem your friend was at odds with this. A true Haku wouldn't think twice. As Palakana's sage, I must say I'm disappointed. You're son of a- Tell me. I know. I'll hold back for now. When Akane-san fled Japan and ran off to Hawaii, it was your group that gave her shelter. Pali Kana gave her peace of mind. In a way, I feel like I owe them for that. And what's more, its people took care of me, too. Same. I'd probably have starved to death if not for them. For all they've done, we felt someone should return the favor. That means taking it back from you. Dear me. You really don't understand how faith works, do you? You claim I'm abusing the faithful. But is Palakana truly all that different with me in charge? Believers are asked to trust in some imaginary god, then pushed to do charity work and offer relief. Seems to me the fault lies with them. Yes? What? Am I wrong to think so? They choose to die for their salvation. The problem here is entirely their own. Maybe they do choose it for themselves. But it's no reason not to knock your ass out! Couldn't agree more. You know, I thought I was over this place. And my love for the islands was up and gone. But after seeing all this, I'm more than ready to defend them. <laughs> Something I don't get. How's a rat like you do all this? You're seriously the sage? I must say I'm hurt. 
As a matter of fact, I was appointed the title by my predecessor. That must have been 70 years ago now. Wait, what? How old is this guy? Back then, Palakana, by and large, was steeped in charity work, thanks to the sage and his wife. It was, perhaps, the least religious the group had ever been, you might say. Nevertheless, the Order had been gaining more and more wealth, even before Hawaii was annexed into the States. <laughs> they seemed a valuable asset. The Mafia thought so, at least. Uh, so that's the hole you crawled out of. Believe it or not, the two groups aren't so different. An absolute hierarchy built off principle, creed, or a set of rules. Now, what is that? A religious organization or a mob family? Tell me, Kasuga, what would you call it? I'd call that twisting your words. Yes, maybe so. But regardless of opinion, my entry into Palakana went rather smoothly. It was all too familiar, you see. I knew quite well how to conduct myself, especially in those kinds of groups. It took time to garner trust, and my ascendance to Sage certainly didn't happen on its own. Still, things went as planned in the end. So what was the goal? Assume power and rake in all of Polycana's money? <laughs> the money was an option, yes. But I only had one goal in mind, this sacred land. Mele Island would be mine. Huh? An island in the middle of the Pacific, almost entirely cut off from the outside world. Furthermore, it's owned and operated by Palikana. Religious freedoms protect this place by law, including its secrets. It's a haven. Secure, secluded, one of a kind. The ultimate black box at my disposal. So what? You turn the place into a sludge dump? The waste disposal project is only the beginning. It's a big world out there. And everyone's got something to hide. Something to keep from prying eyes. And the more a country depends on you, the more you need hidden away. Things, people, information, possibilities abound. As long as this island exists, I'll take out whatever trash comes my way. Oh, so that's it. Ebby not learned his little scheme from you. Very perceptive. As business partners, it was necessary to provide Ebina with some incentive. And with knowledge of the world's deepest, darkest secrets, we gain an inseparable connection to those in power. You mean you'll have dirt on them? Let's not dance around it. When that day comes, even my title as Overseer will seem trivial. I'll have global influence by then. Would that not, in a sense, make me a god? A god with his head up his ass, maybe. Well, I'm sure by now you see the value in this place, yes? Not all do. It takes a sense of ambition. Something he didn't have. He? The island's previous owner, the Sage, before me. I had climbed my way up the ladder. My rise to Sage was all but certain. Guaranteed. That charity-obsessed fool! He nearly ruined everything I'd worked for. <sighs> Melee Island was to be sold. The proceeds put toward further volunteer work. What a waste it would have been. Worse, the deal was well in the works by then. I'd intended to take over as quietly as I first appeared. But no island meant all of this would have been for nothing. Which is why... 
I had no choice but to take matters into my own hands. Pity it had to end so tragically. No matter. I'm sure their precious Nelly embraced them with open arms. <sighs> you know, I'll bet you just love it. Swindling people for all they've got. But they were one step ahead, weren't they? That fake pendant of yours can attest to that. But dear, I did want to talk about Bryce. He'd already had you pegged for the snake you are. That's why the previous sage left a will. You were the last person he wanted in charge. You and that necklace are two of a kind. A couple of cheap imitations. And if that wasn't enough, you tried to kill a kid. An innocent little girl. You think you're on the path to godhood? You're a false idol at best. The girl had to go. Too much risk. However, it wouldn't have mattered either way. Even now, regardless of what truths about me come to light, I have plenty of followers who will remain loyal. Yeah, right. You think people would stick around with a screwball like you? It's why you rolled out every gang in Hawaii. You are getting desperate. And in the end, it turned around and bit you in the ass. Bryce, the one who really exposed all your BS was you. Though, you did have help. All those years, some people in Polycana, despite you, actually cared. Like how Akane-san cared for Lottie. <laughs> I'd say that's more than enough talk, wouldn't you? To tread upon these sacred grounds. To interfere in the affairs of the Divine. The Goddess Nele will not take kindly. <laughs> Seems we've all said what we can at this point. A good punch ought to shut him up. Yeah. Make it too. Sounds good. Bryce, this ends now. <laughs> Have it your way. Nelly's divine wrath awaits. Zipper for you? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, there comes a cleansing flame! <laughs> oh. 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 I'm up! Really? 
think brute force is enough to beat me? Take your best shot. Okay, I'm up. Let's have some You're fun. Right now. Time to end this little charade. Okay, Useless curse! Give up this feeble struggle and die! Prepare yourself! You on five counts of obstruction. Ow. Ow.
This is hella expensive. Be right with hey, you. Thanks, yo. That's kicking time. Are oh, you getting scared? You are ready go. when you are. Open one. <laughs> 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 Looks like I'm up. Sure, I'll go. You will burn. Don't get caught. Got you now. Now, no more. Ah! Time to go all out. Prepare yourself. Yeah. Let's go! For glory! <laughs> Let's get it done! Get alive! It's all put down now! Brace yourself! This is the end! I think I'm getting stronger. Hey! Look at me strong. Go. Guess I'm a fast Excellent. learner. It's over, Bryce. We're gonna show the whole world the truth about your little disposal area. That it's nothing but a dump. <laughs> Do you really believe that's enough? 
As if it would make all this go away. Huh? This whole operation involves countless other countries. All of which produce nuclear waste. A scandal here could collapse an entire government. You think any of them would allow that to happen? <laughs> Shall I spell it out for you? Those countries need me. Every last one of them is on my side. <sighs> so what? We came all this way for nothing? Sorry to break it to you, but you might want to recount on that. Huh? Shijan? Rise and shine, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, I guess it's still nighttime back in Japan, huh? Sorry for the surprise stream. Tatara Channel coming at ya. That's right, go out and spread the word. I'm here live and in person. Now then, you guys getting all this? Yep, straight up drum city over here. And guess what? This little work of art's right here in Hawaii. That's not all, it's Bleach Japan's big project. You know, the one everyone's talking about? That's right, I'm smack dab in the middle of their secret waste disposal site. Weren't you listening? You can spread this all over the net. But as long as I have backers, they'll just keep wiping it away. Let's see. According to Ebina of Bleach Japan, the waste disposal process was to use former Yakuza under some very strict safety protocols now. Do I have all that right? But what's this? This doesn't look very safe, does it? Well, I'm no expert, but it looks like a dingy old cave, and one that's not even that far down below the surface. You mean all this hazardous waste has just been sitting down here? So much for rules and regulations. And wait! Could it be? It is! Did everyone watch the news? That Hawaiian volunteer group was helping out. Oh, what was the name? Polykana, I think it was. And wow, we've got their sage right here! Excuse me, you're Bryce, right? If you're here, then this place is legit. Yeah, wow, this really is the waste disposal site everyone's been so obsessed with. Care to explain what's going on here? Ah, hush hush, I see. We've got a professional here. All right, maybe someone else can help shed some light on this. What? Hello? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Loud and clear. Who's that? Wonderful. And may I ask your name, sir? <sighs> Indeed. This is Kazunari Fujinomiya. I'm chairman of the Fujinomiya Group. What? Fujinomiya? That's chi -chan's... Oh! Wow! Chairman of the Fujinomiya Group. You're a pretty big deal in Japan's business world, huh? On behalf of us all, thank you for joining us. Right, Fujinomiya-san. My reason for calling you today is simple. Leech Japan's Waste Project. I'm told the Fujinomiya Group is a major contributor. Do I have that right? Correct. Fujinomiya Shipping, a subsidiary of our group, handles the delivery of nuclear waste for this very project. Ah, I see. Well then, Fujinomiya-san, would you care to comment? Any thoughts about what you're seeing right now? <sighs> Honestly, I find it all difficult to believe. However, if this is the truth, then we will take the proper actions where need be. As you're also a key member in this, will you accept responsibility? Do you believe that's fair? Whoa, Chichan. To that end, yes. I believe so. When the time comes, I intend to account for my actions. And will you hold yourself to those words? Of course. Well, thank you very much. Now, Bryce. You heard what the Fujinomiya chairman said, didn't you? I mean, a declaration like that's gotta sting. It'd take a miracle to cover all that up, huh? <sighs> 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 Chitose is good, man. 
all those secrets and she cornered Bryce just like that. She really stuck her neck out, too. <sighs> well, I guess I just wanted to help out. Before we left Japan, I went back to my family. I told them everything that happened. We cut in a huge fight, and I asked if money was really all that mattered. And bingo, here we are. Chichan. Hey, don't look at me like that. There's still one more thing I've got to do, after all. What? Yep, they can see me. Wait, Chichana. This next part's pretty important. You see, I've got one last matter of business to tend to. And that is... ...to formally address the mistakes I've made on this channel. Huh. Tatara Channel's a lie. I, Chitose Fujinomiya, knowingly spread false information to the public. Information about otherwise innocent people. In doing so, I deliberately manipulated how they were seen. I was forced to do this under the looming threat that my identity would be exposed. However, that's no excuse. Fact is, I still make those choices. To those I've wronged, to everyone, I'd like to apologize for what I've done, for all I've ruined. Truly, I am deeply sorry. Thank you, Ichiban. Remember what you said? That I could pack up and go if I wanted? You saying that was just what I needed to hear. Thanks to you, I finally found the courage to face things head on. I'm done running. From both my family and myself. You're really something, Chi-chan. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Bryce, you've got a lot to answer for. Don't try and snake your way out now. <laughs> fools. Huh? I said, you're all fools. You think you've gone and done some great noble deed. Think again. Despite what you tell yourselves, nearly every country on Earth sought to make this happen. Of course, that includes Japan as well. We would purge the world of its nuclear waste, and all at the expense of one remote little island. Everyone was chasing after the same impossible dream. I'm simply the one who caught it. Call it a... necessary evil. And you say we're acting noble? You may have stopped me here, but I won't let it trouble me, not one bit. You're a covetous little nest of ants, clasping for power. To hell with the risks, so long as you're not the ones held responsible. <laughs> Let's see what happens. See how you face a world without my influence. Will it call you to embrace the very same evils I did? How I wonder. Don't you worry, Bryce. People aren't as weak as you say. No matter how tough things might get, rest assured. They can always find a way through. <laughs> I'm not so sure. If only I could watch from on high. Alas. It seems I'll have to consent to my view through the flames below. What? <laughs> You're not going anywhere! Not on my watch! What are you doing? 
I've had more than enough fishing for one day. The last thing I'm gonna do is pull your wrinkly ass out of the muck. You know we're gonna have to clear these drums out later. Think I want your freaky corpse staring at me. I'd rather eat my shoes. No one else. I made a promise. I can't just let you die and be done with it. You're not getting the last laugh! If you think you're going out in style, you've got another thing coming! Enjoy your flight, asshole! Ichiban! Ichiban! End of the line, Bryce Fairchild. Thanks to Chitose. You've got nowhere else to run. I'm sending you to the police with a nice big ribbon. I'd say that's mission accomplished. Hey, Kasuga. No. We're not out just yet. <laughs>